Hello guys, welcome back to another video. If you want to get into modded Minecraft and you're confused or you don't know where to start, then you come to the right place. I'm here to help you. As you may know, when it comes to modding, there are several drawbacks and security concerns, so I'll cover those and solve those roadblocks for you so that you don't have to go through any trouble yourself. Through my years of mo dealing with Minecraft mods, I have learned several tips that have really helped me along the way, so let's go ahead and jump right in. I remember when I first got into modded Minecraft, I would go into either Optifine or CurseForge, and there are ads everywhere. Some are just regular ads you'd see every day. Some are aggressive and malicious, especially those start download ones. You know, they say three easy steps and such. That's not just for mods, but also skins, resource packs, worlds. I'll do other videos on those topics. I would go to edit my skin on Skindex. I'm not dissing Skindex at all, this is just an example. And the start button ad would pop up. Now I'm sure that some of us might have instinctively clicked the button, but I saw this and thought, whoa, that could have been bad. I can't imagine how many people fell for this. So I clicked off the ad and got to skin editing and I was fine. There was another time when I was playing Destroyer 2, it's a fun Minecraft map on my Minecraft realm. And there was a sign with a link that said, download here. I thought, well, if it's the official link, then it must be okay. So I went to it, downloaded the world, and everything seemed to be going just fine. But what I didn't know was that the site I was downloading from was also giving me aggressive adware pop-up ads in the corner of my screen, saying that my computer was in danger, and that I should click on their ad to scan my computer and install the antivirus. That's when I learned to get an ad blocker for the first time. In short, downloading anything from Minecraft, or just downloading in general, might have security risks, which can be very scary for people. So, to fix this, go to the Chrome Web Store and add the uBlock extension. It's the best out ad blocker out there right now, and you can install it and you don't have any ads anymore on YouTube. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about which sites are the best places to download from? We all may know CurseForge, Bodrinth, Voidswrath, and that's all fine, but there are better and safer ways to go about it. My personal favorite is downloading the At Launcher. No, not the cracked Minecraft T Launcher, which is a security risk. This is different. At Launcher is arguably the best and easiest way to configure and install mods, resource packs, shaders, and some world downloads. T Launcher is a cracked illegal version of Minecraft that you shouldn't use because it's dangerous and it's dumb. What you do is you go to atlauncher.com. I assure you this is completely safe. I got you. You go to the download tab, click whichever download is right for your operating system. For me it would be Windows, so I choose setup. After that's downloaded, click the file, hit next, pretend to read I mean carefully read through the license agreement and accept it. Hit next, hit next hit next, install, and then finish. Go to accounts, log in, then choose your mod pack or make your own. Okay, now that we fixed that problem, you should be very secure now. Moving on to next would be that mods can somewhat or really slow your computer, even at high mid-range computers like mine. To fix the problem, get a better computer. It's not necessarily the only way to get mods. Unless, of course, your computer is a piece of... Anyway, if that is the case and you're looking to get a new computer, here's an example of a really good bang for buck or best value for money PC. That should get you everything you, you need, not just in modding, but just as a PC overall. It should last you a very long time. And if you don't want to spend $1,000 or more, I get it. So here's an example of that's 900 or more. But if you want to spend less than that, then here's an example of like 600-ish. But if you want lower than that, then I'm done, because I want to get on with this video. But honestly, mods will still lag, even with a really good PC. That's just how mods work. They're made by people who do not have access to the source code, meaning that they write their own code, rip open Minecraft, shove in their most likely clunky and inefficient code into it, and stitch it back together, and hope it works. What am I getting at? It's that mods, the ad content, are dumb, and you shouldn't expect no problems ever in modding, even if you have a really beefy computer. So yes, get a, getting a 
PC wouldn't hurt, but don't burn a hole in your or your parents' life savings to achieve zero lag in mods, because that's just a bad financial decision, in my opinion, anyway. It's also typically a good idea to use optimization mods along with it to make the mod pack run faster. Before we move on, if you've made it this far, I would greatly appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. It means a lot, and it helps me make more content like this. If you like fighting monsters and bosses and exploring, then check these out. Roguelike Adventures in Dungeons. Roguelike Adventures in Dungeons 2. Prominence 2. Valhalla 3. Valhalla 6. Rad Light, which is Roguelike Adventures in Dungeons, but with less mods, so it's not as heavy on your computer. Or if you want just overall improvements to make Minecraft more alive, try Better Adventures Plus. Better Minecraft Forge, Better Minecraft Fabric, Origins, Vanilla Overhaul, Vanilla Restructured, Vanilla Plus, Vanilla Mod Pack, Vanilla Plus Sign, Vanilla Reimagined, Vanilla Enhance, Vanilla... Okay, Mod Packs for Tech. Lots of thinking and complicatedness. SevTech Ages, Sky Factory 4, Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved, Project Ozone 3, A New Way Forward. And, um, if you want a mod pack that's ridiculously hard and supposed to be realistic, but except it's not realistic. Try RL Craft. There's a lot of restrictions in the early game, and you can randomly just get killed by a Leviathan if you spawn in the ocean. And if you die, you get respawned somewhere else, and there'll be a dragon that'll just kill you. So, if you want to play that, and that's your thing, then uh, have fun. Wait, MC Marshmallow, what's the mod pack you've been playing in the background? That would be a combination of mods that adds content to the game, like terrain generation, structures, and mods like server plugins, but they don't actually add any new blocks or items. It just reuses what Minecraft already has. So you could load the world on a server and your friends wouldn't have to download a thing, since it'll all be server-side. Now that you've chosen whichever mod pack you want to try, or you made your own, or you're not doing anything, you're just watching this video, I'd say that the first thing you should do is go to controls and set all or almost all keybinds to nothing that came from the mods then choose your usual layout, and then, as you go along and experience different mods, or when you come across a quest and it explains it to you, then you can scroll down to that mod and select your keybind. This way it's not overwhelming with all the conflicts. If you go through dozens of mods and scrolling through everything and try to get it perfect in the very beginning, as soon as you get on the mod pack, you'll be 1. Overwhelmed, 2. Bored as heck, and get discouraged. 3. You'll likely forget a lot of keybinds you, as you play anyway, depending on the size of the mod pack. And some mod packs are so big you're probably not going to experience all the mods, so then you'll just be stressing about stuff that's not going to matter anyway. And then there's also optimization mod packs for better performance, and that would be Fabulously Optimized, Simply Optimized, Boosted FPS Forge, Boosted FPS Fabric, Remarkably Optimized, Additive, and whatever mods that I use. And that would be, I use Fabulously Optimized, and then add my mods that I like, Apple Skin, Mouse Tweaks, Bobby and, and Nvidia, Chunky, Clumps, Essential Mod, and Inventory HUD Plus. That's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed this or learned something. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments. And if you want to learn about good Minecraft world downloads, resource packs, mod packs, then stay posted because I hope to post videos more specifically on these topics soon. It, or maybe I uploaded this a year ago, and the videos are showing on the, right now on the end screen. But anyway, this is MC Marshmallow, and I hope to talk to you again more soon.